for joining us here at Be So Creative for Handy Quilters Ruler of the Month 8. And this is ruler number 2, I think. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so lost on rulers. Um, today we're going to be looking at the Swish template. So that should have been March's, think, since we had March Madness, but we're going to be doing Swish template in April. On the back of the card of the packaging, there's some designs I design ideas that you can use for your ruler. And our Swish template, that's really hard to say, Swish template, um, looks like this. And I have put some um, handy grip on the back so that it won't uh, slide around. And of course, the ruler has the markings. Um, so that we can use them to line up to whatever we decide we want to do. Um, as always, you get a design sheet from handyquilter.com and it gives you different ideas on how to use this ruler. And there's also a video tutorial at handyquilter.com slash ruler dash of dash the dash month. That's a whole mouthful of a lot to say. So we are going to be using this little swish ruler and if you remember i had made this little sampler and we have already done one idea down here um, using our template from last month and then we are going to be stitching in this area right here so i've marked it where the middle of the board of the area is that I want to stitch in and I just used a chalk marker. So I like using chalk markers or I like using air erase markers because then I don't have to worry about spritzing a quilt and and making that dissolve especially when I'm doing a customer quilt. I really don't want to be spritzing anything on and crossing my fingers hoping that maybe the blue would come off. So I really like chalk and I really like um, air vanishing um, uh, markers whenever I can use them. So I've marked the center here and what I want to do is I am going to be using this line right here. Do you get a good picture mm -hmm. of it? Yeah. And this line right here. And the design I'm going to use is one from the video from Handy Quilter. So I'm going to line that up on my line and our stitching length is 11 stitches per inch. I like to stitch an 11 um, if you're new to using rulers. 10 is a good, stitches per inch is a good number to choose because it's easy to pick out. Um, if you like to stitch in 12 or 13, more power to you, that's harder to pick out. So um, I can still pick 11 when I mess up. So um, I like to stitch an 11. So you need to um, have a good grip on your ruler. So this one is a little bit long, so you may be pausing and switching your hand to hold it. You don't want it to pop up so that it would pop over the uh, hopping foot of your ruler foot. So I'm going to not go fast because this is not a fast thing to do. And I'm just going from notch to notch, okay? Then instead of just moving it over because then I'll just get a continuous line. I am going to flip it around and I'm going to put it back in the notch and I'm going to line up right here on my line. It's easier to see in the dark than it is on the light. Then I'm going to go ahead and stitch this one. And I'm just going to go ahead and come to my seam right there. So now the next thing I want to do is I'm going to go back and redo it, except I'm going to turn it upside down. Let me take this little stitching out. These are my basting stitches to keep it all together when I'm not here. I take this on and off the frame. All right. So we started like this. So I'm going to turn it around and I am just going to go back the way I came. So I'm going to put my, drop my needle. Okay. 
And I was telling Marsha, I might get a little mixed up on this one just because I, in my mind, I haven't really got this one down yet. So I'm upside down and I'm going back a different way. And yes, I have things that pop up. That's my basting <laughs> stitch. All right, so I'm all lined up on my line. I'm going this way. Okay, and then I'm going to flip it and then continue on. And then this one, I want to just go ahead and take up. So I've kind of gotten a figure eight um, right good. here. Mm -hmm. And then I'm gonna go back and probably fill in, and then I'm gonna do something on the outside. So I might do straight lines down. You'll have to tune in next month to find out what happens. All right, so I'm going to clip my threads, and we're gonna try something else. Okay, so I, it's really hard for me to get up here and I'm down here. So I need to move my, oh, sorry, that's no, that's okay. <laughs> I need to move this down a smidgen. Okay. All right, so now what I want to do is when I watched the video, I really liked the ribbon. And so I really wanted to try that. So my line is right here. You can't see it, and I barely can see it, but it's there. Okay. So all I'm going to do is line this up, and I'm going to from notch to notch. Okay, and my um, ruler base is hitting. Okay, watch out, Marsha. Okay. And sometimes this is a back and forth kind of a deal. And I'm going to clip my threads right on the seam. So that's the first half of my ribbon. Now to get the second half, I got to move my material again. Sorry, Marcia. That's, okay. <laughs> That's why I own a Forte, which is bigger. <laughs> we got a lot of people watching today, Steph. Well, good morning, everybody. Thank you for watching us. Okay, so we started right here Okay, and that gave me this. So if I move over a little bit, okay, and then start it and get it back up here, we should be offset according to what I watched. So my line is right there. And I'm working in pretty much a small area right here. And so it may not be as good as what I saw on the video. So I'm just going to do this again. And then I'm going to come down here. Isn't that fun? Yeah, really. I think it's really pretty. Okay. And Mar Martha says hello. Hi, Martha. Hi, Martha Hill. And Nancy Knight and Jean Rollins and Linda Klein and Linda Lotz, Steph Hodge, Hodgins. Steph? Steph. We have a Steph yeah. on here. Yeah. Growing up, that was not a popular name, and it was very long and hard to learn how to spell. 
Woo! I didn't want to go that far. Remember, 11 is easy to pick out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that is so pretty. Isn't that fun? So if you're wondering what it would look like with three, you can go ahead and then just chalk on another one to see if you want to add any more ribbons mm -hmm. or not. But it's really pretty that way. And what you could do is if you wanted to fill in a little bit of uh, background down in here, or you can just leave it blank. When you're quilting something, you want to keep the quilting all the same. So if I'm going to be quilting really, really heavy down in here, and then I do something really, really light, it looks very unbalanced. So I haven't done a ton of quilting on either one of these. So if I decide, oh, I kind of like this, I might, I might not, I don't know. Um, if I leave it like this, that might be fine. Um, but as I go along, I get to where I decide mm, I need to add something to it so I might do that as well so I want to thank you for joining us and if you um, will come back again next month it's on the third Thursday at 9 a.m. mountain time and um, join us to see what this actually finished up as and then see what our next ruler can do. And I've already taken a peek and I already have in my mind on one of the designs what we're gonna do. And so I'm pretty excited about it. I even told Marsha about it. So I think it's gonna be pretty cute. So thank you again. Have a wonderful day. And from us at Be So Creative here in Las Cruces, New Mexico, thank you very much.